Howdy, my name is Gary McMahon, and you must be looking for entertainment. And since nobody likes to buy a pig in a poke, you asked me to send you this video. So I've strung together a few of my performances to give you a taste of what I can do. To begin with, I am the 1991 national champion cowboy yodeler, and here's how that works. This is called Yodeling Man from Old Montana. Yodel Out in Montana where the sky's blue lives a fella named Slim and old Buckaroo has a big black hat. Rides a horse that won't quit. He ain't no alloy, he's plum cowboy, and he can yodel you bet. He's a yodeling man from Old Montana. Started singing in the mountains to the cattle just settling down where the echo was perfecto and there weren't no soul around. So he tried just about anything, and that's how the cowboy learned to sing. All right, the dog wasn't exactly moved to tears, but listen to the finish. There's not much you can do with the yodel but put the spurs to it, so... Thought I'd see how fast this old nag would go. Want to remind you that I'm not wearing a safety device this evening. I'm perfectly willing to hurt myself for your enjoyment. That's cowboy way. Here we go. He's yodeling man from Montana. I've been nationally recognized as a cowboy poet for over 12 years. Cowboy poetry is very popular these days, and I always include several poems in my show. Let's join a poem in progress about an old boy that found his barn cat at a neighboring ranch and decided to take him back home with him, a horseback. Well, ride back home was pleasant enough. The old cat was a purring, ab, soft, low hum. In fact, this whole tail gets about half drab till the dogs at the home place run out to greet Ab. Well, happy barks and wags soon turned to snarling teeth when they seen what was sitting on that saddle seat. Now it was plain to see something was fixing to happen. That cat was a-hissing them dogs, jumping and snapping. Ab throwed his hat at him. But that was a mistake. Furt offered up his old bald head as prime real estate. About the time old Gray decided to head for higher ground, that Morgan horse allowed he was under attack. Bogged his head right down. Lab went to the horn with his free hand. Getting bucked off hard. Could kill the old man. He was doing his best to stay with that Morgan, that cat riding his dome with claws sharpened that morning. With most body parts busy, there's no way he could shake her. So all he could do was sit there and take her. In a wall-eyed fit, here they come a-run a muckin', a-cussin' and a-barkin' and a-hissin' and a-buckin'. The kid said, come quick, Grandpa's in a typhoon, and dang if he don't look like Daniel Boone. <laughs> well, his horse unloaded him right in the yard. And if it weren't for the dog, he might have hit hard. But he landed right square on top of old Rosie, and she turned and got him good right in his groceries. 
He'd been bucked off, dog bit, and his head clawed bloody, and the things he was saying wasn't fit for nobody. He'd sit there and fume till the air turned blue. Cussed his horse, that cat, and all them dogs, too. His head was all crisscross with beady black lines. But the cat and the horse and the dogs is all fine. I guess he thought they all turned on him today, that day, but the truth is he just got in nature's way. And like I say, there's memories you never leave behind. Like when Ab come bucking up the road with that cat on his mind. I've been a cowboy singer and songwriter for over 25 years. You can read more about that in the literature that I sent you. Most folks enjoy a little music mixed in with the stories and the poems. My home's in Montana, I wear a bandana, my spurs are silver, my horse is a bay. And I've been roaming all over Wyoming, there's plenty of work, but there ain't too much pay. It's horses and cattle and a double rig saddle, a stout line to catch one and a good roping horn. Wherever there's ranches, I'm a taking my chances from sunrise to sunset since the day I was born. Everybody enjoys good comedy. And there's always lots of laughs in my show just for the fun of it and to tie it all together and to keep things moving. Here's a sample. Some of them were driving cattle trucks, and others of them were running slips out at the sale barn. Some of them went back to school and became realtors, for God's sake. But not me. I stayed right out there in it. My butt never left the saddle, and I made my money the old-fashioned way. Tourists. And I got me a job on the T Lazy 7 guest ranch up at Aspen, Colorado, and I was managing the stable up there, I guess, for about eight years, and meet all kinds of people in that line of work. You know, in the summertime, breakfast, lunch, dinner rides, riding by the hour, half day rides, all day rides, fly fishing trips, pack trips. You kind of start to tell where people are from, you know, when they come in there after you've seen enough of them. And this one kid came in and you can kind of tell he was from Boulder, you know. <laughs> and this was back in the days when you could uh, still rent a horse and take him out on your own. It was before the lawyers got a hold of it. Well, we had a few lawyers come up, you know, but we always pastured our horses on those high mountain meadows up there, so their manure was real green and slimy. And those lawyers would step in that and they'd scare them to death. They'd think they were melting. You know? <laughs> anyway, we rented this kid this horse, and, and uh, he was a big black old quarter horse. We called him Moon Dance. And people either loved this horse or hated this horse. There was no in between. So I was kind of curious to see how he did. So. He coming in back off his ride, and I said, Hey, how'd you get along on that old pony? He said, Oh, man, it was so far out. He said, About 15 minutes into the ride, the horse and I bonded, and we became as one. <laughs> what do you say to a guy like that? I'd been to Boulder a couple times. I kind of knew how they talked to each other. I said, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> I hope that you'll consider not only the variety of talents I bring to a show, but the quality as well. It sets me apart from the herd and adds up to an evening that your gang will remember long after it's over. I think that's what good entertainment is all about. And if you agree, then give us a jingle. Welcome. Thanks for your time, and Thank you. may the horse be with you.